Want to know more details on the Growing Together expansion pack, including when it releases and if there are any benefits to pre-ordering? Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my news video. I'll be doing a deep dive into the trailer and the blog post that released on Thursday, February 2nd. And there was quite a lot to unpack between the trailer itself and the blog post. So some things that I noticed were that we have kids riding bikes and learning to ride. We have puzzles on the game table and what looked like dominoes. Uh, there was a rabbit hole theater, which in the blog post said, watch a movie at the Wharf's refurbished theater. And kids pillow fighting. I know there is pillow fighting in the game, but kids can't yet. Sleeping bags, a uh, water park, which is a splish and splash at Whaleburg's public splash pad play area per the blog post, play mat for infants, baby carrier, change table for infants, losing teeth and uh, money from a tooth fairy or something like that, a tree house that you build and children can help with building and room for adults to go in it, upright piano, baby shower, power walking around the park, though that might only be in the new world like hiking is in the snowy escape, can't tell that yet, Grandparents looking like they're visiting and bringing a suitcase to help with the infant. Children giving toddlers a kiss and what look like infants and toddlers in public spaces and infants interacting with each other. So that's quite a lot. So hopefully those things that we saw were actually happening in the pack. It did look like the trailer itself was kind of like a home video. So a lot of people are thinking that we're getting the ability to make home videos, but I don't know if that was just sort of trailer magic to make it look more fun or if that's something that's coming. I didn't see it mentioned in the actual blog post. So as for the release, it is actually releasing at 10 a.m. on March 16th. So sometimes it releases at midnight on the Friday. The 16th is a Thursday. So this is not like what we've been experiencing for most releases, though I think high school years might have been like this too. So everybody is going to be getting it at the same moment worldwide, which of course is a different time in whatever time zone you're in. I have a world clock meeting planner up there on the screen, which shows a few time zones and you can maybe identify which one might be closer to you to get an estimate of when you might be getting it in your location. So I'm in Eastern, so that means that I will be getting it on the March 16th at 1 p.m. because that's when 10 a.m. Pacific is for me. And you can see there, I also have it for London and uh, in the United Kingdom and Sydney, Australia. I also will have a link down below so that you can click on it and see exactly when it is in your time zone if you don't wanna have to try and figure it out. SimGuru Frost also tweeted, and this information is also in the blog post that the developer live stream is going to be on March 3rd and that is actually at 11 a.m. Pacific, and it will be on Twitch and YouTube. And he also thanks Diziac86. Sorry if I didn't pre didn't pronounce that properly. Deligracy and Lil Simsy, who participated in creating lots for this pack. So it says there that it is available now for pre-order and there is an early order bonus content, but you don't actually need to pre-order to get that content. You just have to buy by April 27th. And I have actually seen people have problems who have pre-ordered because they don't take the money when you pre-order. They take the money usually about a week before the release, sometimes even a little closer to the release. It just depends. And if you do pre-order, you need to make sure that the uh, money or the room on your credit card is available then and not now. So if you're pre-ordering because you're like, oh, I want to just get it out of the way and pay for it now. Well, that is usually not how it works. But I think sometimes if you use PayPal, it can take it right away. But that's a PayPal thing, but and it's not always because I've used PayPal and that hasn't happened for me. So, But I think it can vary. But if you're just using a plain old credit card, it does not take it until EA takes some money in the future. So if you buy by April 27th, you'll get the early order content, which includes a sporty styled infant carrier, a cute toddler slide, and a swing set for both children and adults to enjoy. And you will get this at release if you have pre-ordered. Otherwise, you'll get it when you make your purchase if you purchase it by April 27th. Now, someone asked Simgru Ninja if that was, the baby carrier was only for pre-order, but he replied that there's infant carriers in the pack, but if you pre-order, you'll get this unique one as well. 
So for the key features, you can see uh, you've got a lasting impact. Key choices and milestones will help shape who your Sims are, unlock and change personality traits through your Sims lives as they cope with midlife crises, respond to family requests to move in, and more. Self-discovery is a lifelong journey. So hopefully that's done well and not too buggy. <laughs> Sorry, these things tend to be buggy, especially at release, and they can take a while to hammer out the details. So then you have social dynamics. Another thing that could be a little bit buggy, sometimes Sims just click. Your Sim might have natural social chemistry with a Sim they meet at a party, or they might naturally clash. I'm seeing mean Sim bug vibes. <laughs> Anyways, your Sim will now have preferences that determine which Sims they are socially compatible with and which Sims are more likely to be their enemies. Family ties. The bonds between your related sims are important and complex. As they experience life together, there will be opportunities for both drama and unity that will affect family dynamics and sims relationships with their family members. So perfect for families with respect to the new world. It's located along an ocean bay. San Sequoia was once a small fishing village and has grown into a bustling town. It features quiet suburbs, a lively rec center, a tight-knit community, and even an influential local family the Robleses. So I'm hoping since it's San Sequoia, which is like redwood trees in California and up the coast there, I guess it could be for the north that it's kind of a mild world because those are my favorite ones to play in. But I mean, it's no guarantee. And then just some details from the actual more detailed blog post. There's again San Sequoia. It has tons of outdoor open space for family gatherings and children to play. There's three neighborhoods, Anchorport Wharf, Gilbert Gardens, and a relaxed residential locale, Hopewell Hills. And it has a slower pace that seamlessly mixes elements of modern and traditional craftsman-style homes. And there's lots to do. There, You can have an outing at the Urban Park where they can walk in a group learn to ride a bicycle, jog, or even hike on a nature path along the Gilbert's Garden Lake, though they do look like they're doing some power walking in the video. Your sim can enjoy the views, play on a playground, take it slow and go fishing with grandparents, watch a movie at the movie theater that they showed in that trailer, and there's a library filled with children's books and the splish and splash at the public splash pad area. So that strikes me that the splash pad's going to be in the neighborhood as opposed to a lot, but that's just based on that description makes me think that. Now infants, infants, infants. So this first bit is actually with respect to the base game, which it will be coming to base game on March 14th in an update in case you missed that. So infants themselves are base game and you're going to be able to create and modify infants in Create a Sim with the opportunity to show off a wide range of clothing, accessories, and hairstyles, which some of those are ones that have been used on toddlers, but there looks like there's some new things, and I don't know whether those new things will also be given to toddlers or if they'll only be given for infants. I guess we'll see when we see and in that live stream because they will be going over the infants in the live stream as well as the pack. You can adopt an infant and then you age up from a newborn, i.e. the current babies in the game, to an infant, to a toddler. And you can change the diaper, give them a nap and put them to sleep and more. And uh, they'll have the ability to express needs, emotions and sentiments. And caring for them is intense like in real life. So there's little time or energy for your Sim's own needs, which they kind of displayed in the video where the grandparents came and then the parents were sleeping on napping on the couch while the grandmother looked after the little infant. So as for the pack, it's going to add more depth and gameplay to the life stage, which is also for toddlers and children. It's going to bring new infant milestones and they will highlight the way your sims are growing up, as well as gain new abilities that open up the world around them for social interaction and exploration. Caregivers will have new ways of playing and caring for them because you're going to have a changing station, which is in the pack, and an infant play mat, as well as the ability to carry them on our backs and a baby shower event. So those are things that will be in the pack and not from what I can see there in the base game with infants. And they're going to be adding 18 discoverable infant quirks that change an infant's behavior. There's three quirks per infant and there are some examples there on the screen. 
Some look like they might be handy. Some look like they might be hard to deal with, I have to say. Then it moves on to family interactions and the elders. There's the good power walk around the park. The puzzle at the rec center, which looks like it's going to be a new lot type. Or role as caretaker of the family keepsake box. Uh, they're best at giving life lessons, reminiscing on good times and sneaking treats. Sometimes they even have a favorite grandchild. And then speaking of grandchildren, toddlers are getting quite the update in this pack. As with infants, they're adding 18 discoverable toddler quirks that change a toddler's behavior. They are discovered over time and make each toddler unique beyond their traits. And there's some examples there. Again, some that seem good and some that look like they might be pretty hard to handle. And for children, they're getting a lot of attention Children have received four new aspirations, Slumber Party Animal, Mind and Body, Playtime Captain, and Creative Genius. And there's new content for kids in the pack, the tree house, the splash pad, the bike, the sleeping bag, the slumber parties, uh, another thing, French slip bracelets and more. There's plenty to aspire towards. Just make sure to keep their confidence high. So there's um, childhood confidence is an aspect of growing up that each child faces in this pack uh, in addition to lost teeth which is mentioned there and shown in the trailer so then the milestones that were mentioned in the features are here again through sims experiences and relationships players will begin to encounter milestones which will provide a way of showing players their sims current growth as well as their lifelong touchstones that continue to impact them as they age these include overcoming a career obstacle, getting let go from a job, having a midlife crisis, and having the family move in, and so much more. So, sounds interesting. I hope they do it well, is all I can say, because otherwise it could be problematic. Bringing in new sims will be filled with new infant milestones that highlight the ways in which your sims grow up and provide a guide for players throughout the new infancy gameplay, making each milestone feel like a brand new and exciting experience every time. So it looks like they might be a little unique because they're saying it's going to be brand new and exciting experience every time. So also you've got that family dynamics. So there's a new social compatibility feature in the pack which introduces new ways of socializing that will feel different with each sim, leading to a deeper, more meaningful relationship with family and friends. And also, your sim's family tree will now reflect more complex family relationships, so I wonder if that means that things like step-siblings or cousins, uh, aunts and uncles and things like that will be you know, a thing in the family tree, though I would kind of hope that wouldn't be in just the pack. It would make sense that that would be in the actual game itself, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. And you got that socially compatible and who are sworn enemies, which was referred to before. There'll be opportunities for both drama and unity that will ultimately affect family dynamics and your Sims relationships. And I really hope it's done well, as I've already said before, because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing mean sim vibes, so let's hope it's not like that. So that is really the main thing. There's lots of new things to unpack. I don't know that we're going to get much more information between now and the live stream, which four weeks is a long time, so maybe they'll have a little bit coming out as time goes on. I liked it how they did it with seasons, where they had like blog posts every few weeks or something like that. I know it was a long way out, but this is pretty long, which is how they used to do it. They used to have a fair amount of time between when they announced it and when a came out but they then also used to release information along the way so I really hope that we get a little bit more information before March 3rd because that is a long way off I don't mind waiting for the pack I just like getting fed some information as time goes on so let me know what your thoughts are on what we currently know about the pack but as I commented there are a few things I am a little bit concerned about as to how well they're going to be implemented However, overall, I'm really excited for a lot of what I saw and read about. I'm so happy to have four more child aspirations. I love doing aspirations and aspiration swapping, but that's an aside. I always like more social events. I like doing them and the world looks and sounds really nice. So I'm excited for that too. There's other things I'm excited for, but those are some things that come to mind. While I don't play with elders, so the things that are being added for them probably aren't going to affect my gameplay. I still think it's really great that they've added more for them because I know a lot of people want that. And I'd love to know what your favorite thing and least favorite thing is. 
And are you planning on pre-ordering or are you like me going to wait till closer to the date? I will probably pre-order, but I usually pre-order after they've already started taking the payment. So like at the last week, last minute, and I will definitely not pre-order until they have done the live stream. Are you going to skip the early order bonus and wait for it to go on sale later and hopefully also have had some bugs fixed, which we know inevitably it will have at launch. But that's going to be it for this video. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!